Hi, my name is Sarah Jane and I'm a naturalist with Community Nature Connection here in Los Angeles. My job is to try and help young people like you learn about or connect with nature, uh, either here in Franklin Canyon Park, which is very foggy today, um, or through videos like this one. Franklin Canyon Park is a part of the Santa Monica Mountains National Recreation Area, which is on indigenous Tongva and Chumash lands. Did you know that in the whole world, only two megacities, of which there are around 33, have a big cat that's native to within the city boundaries. Those two cities are Mumbai and in India, who have around 40 leopards that roam their natural areas. And right here in Los Angeles, our big cats are mountain lions, who are also known as panthers, cougars, or pumas. We have mountain lions that live right here in the Santa Monica Mountains. And even P-22, the famous mountain lion that lives in Griffith Park, which is where the Hollywood, Hollywood sign is. Today I'm going to be chatting to you about mountain lions, some of their adaptations and why they are such fierce hunters and why they're so special and worth protecting. So what is an adaptation? It's something that helps an animal survive and to do everything it needs to do. Adaptations could be physical changes to the outside of the animal's body called external structures, like ear shape for being able to hear better or cool an animal down, or maybe the color of their fur that helps them camouflage. An adaptation can also be physical changes inside their body called internal structures, like how birds have hollow bones uh, that are air filled, which helps them to fly better. Check out this photo of a brush rabbit. Pause the video so you have some time to think of at least two adaptations that this animal has that helps it survive. Another type of adaptation is a behavioral adaptation, where animals behave in a certain way that helps them survive. An example of this is like when bears hibernate. But adaptations aren't really chosen. For example, an animal in a cold climate can't just choose to grow thicker fur. Adaptations develop and evolve over time. They're passed down from generation to generation. Developing adaptations is a part of the process of evolution. Okay, so back to mountain lions. Here I am in Sookie Goldman Nature Center in Franklin Canyon Park, and I'm with Frankie the mountain lion. A long time ago, she died, and taxidermists were able to preserve her body so that people like us could get up close to learn more about mountain lions without being in danger. Now that we know what an adaptation is, pause the video to think of two adaptations that might help mountain lions hunt and survive. One adaptation that we can notice on Frankie is the positioning of her eyes. A trick to help you remember whether an animal is likely to be a predator or prey, that's the hunter or the hunted, is to remember this rhyme. Eyes on the front, they're built to hunt. Eyes on the side, they'll run or hide. Mountain lions' adapted eyes help them see better than people, including further, wider, and in poor light, like at dusk or dawn. If we compare that with the taxidermied mule deer over here, you can see that its eyes are towards the side of its head, which helps it spot predators like mountain lions who love to hunt and eat deer. So remember their rhyme and say it with me if you like. Eyes on the front, they're built to hunt. Eyes on the side, they'll run or hide. Another amazing adaptation that mountain lions have evolved is their muscly hind or their back legs and their huge powerful paws. This gives them the ability to sprint up to 50 miles per hour and to jump up to 15 foot high and up to 40 foot distance. Okay, let's put some of those numbers into perspective. So between the camera and myself, which is around 100 feet away, a mountain lion would take less than two seconds to reach me. Eep, that's fast. A mountain lion could jump from the ground right up over the top of this pampas grass. And using those powerful hind legs, a mountain lion could leap 40 foot from the camera all the way to me in just one jump. For a speed comparison, Jamaican athlete Usain Bolt has the fastest foot speed recorded for a human at around 27 miles per hour. Mountain lions, on the other hand, fastest speed is somewhere between 40 to 50 miles per hour. So next time you're out in some open space, measure out a 100 foot distance with some grown-ups and see how fast you can make it. Do you think you can come anywhere close to a mountain lion? Okay, so we've talked about how mountain lions have adaptations to make them amazing predators. But why are they worth protecting? An apex predator sits at the top of the food chain. 
they keep they don't have any natural predators and they keep all of the other animals and plants underneath them for example deer in check if that means that there aren't too many deer overeating certain types of plants uh, for example like toyon which might then cause them to disappear so you'd think that being at the top of the food chain would be pretty great right but unfortunately, humans have made life pretty difficult for mountain lions, especially here in LA. Our network of freeways and highways break up the roaming territory that mountain lions need. So some of the causes of mountain lion deaths are getting hit by vehicles while they're trying to cross the highway, dying as a result of a fight with another mountain lion because they're in each other's territory, starvation or injuries as a result of wildfire in their habitat, and rodenticides. Rodenticides are poisons that people use to kill rats or other pests around their homes or their businesses. But the poisons aren't just eaten by the rats, and that's the end of the story. Other animals can feed on the rats or the animals that eat the poison, which then gets passed up the food chain all the way to mountain lions, resulting in their death. So what can you do to help make sure these beautiful animals are protected? You can check out savelacougars.com to learn more about how there are plans to build a special wildlife bridge uh, to help animals like mountain lions cross highways like the 101. You can chat to your family or school about the use of rodenticides, so special types of poisons. Um, and you can try to learn what type of alternatives there are to keep away things like rats and mice from your home or schoolyard. And you can help your family to learn more about wildfires and preventing them, such as avoiding having open flames um, or fireworks during summer or fall months. Any of those actions will help educate you and the greater LA area and our mountain lions will thank you for it. Although knowing what we know now about mountain lions and how good a hunt they are, I'm okay if they don't thank us in person. Thanks so much for joining me today here in Franklin Canyon Park in Los Angeles. You're welcome to come and visit Franklin Canyon with your family and see this beautiful habitat that mountain lions like to come visit. Usually after the park closes though, when there aren't so many people around. Maybe you can try and spot some tracks though. Thanks so much for watching, bye.